Welcome to the TxDOT Beaumont District Rural Transportation Improvement Program Virtual Public Meeting. This pre-recorded video presentation covers the 2021 through 2024 Rural Tip. My name is Octavio Sainz and I would like to welcome and also thank you for watching this virtual public meeting that was shared with the public starting on Tuesday, May 19, 2020. I am the Public Information Officer for the FAR District, but I am serving as your presenter on behalf of the Beaumont District. This video presentation will go over the basics of a rural tip along with projects to be included in the upcoming 2021 through 2024 rural tip for the Textots Beaumont District. We will explain how the projects in the program are selected and classified in order to make the most of the program. Once we've shared this information with you, you will have the opportunity to review the Beaumont District projects that are included in the 2021 through 2024 program, both large and small. We will also review funding answer your potential questions on where the money to pay for these projects comes from and how it gets distributed. Lastly, we will outline the options you have to comment on these projects and their priority. We would like to begin this presentation with a safety minute. There's no doubt that COVID-19 has been in the hearts and minds of many Texans at this time. TxDOT is committed to your safety, so we appreciate your flexibility in viewing this presentation online so we can all help minimize in-person contact. The safety of the traveling public is at the forefront of all we do at TxDOT. We encourage you to check the CDC website for more information at www.cdc.gov about how to protect you and your family during this time. Let's talk about the areas that are included as part of the rural tip process. TxDOT's Beaumont District includes the eight counties shown in the map. Projects included in the 2021-2024 Rural Tip are located in Tyler, Jasper, and Newton counties. The Rural Transportation Improvement Program is a list of local projects funded in a Texas district over the next four years. This means that all projects included in the list are expected to be underway within four years following its approval. These are the changes you can expect to go to contract in the near future. It is multimodal, which means that it can include projects relating to highways, bicycle and pedestrian facilities, transit services and freight projects, as well as the preliminary studies used to define those projects. The Rural TIP, or TIP, is meant to show regional agreement on the need and priority of a transportation project, so all parties involved can be sure they are making the best investment for the community. A TIP is also expected to be consistent with the projects and objectives included in the region long-range transportation plans to ensure that all agencies are working towards the same goal. The Rural TIP is also part of the Statewide Transportation Improvement Program, or STIP. Because the program rules are established by federal law, no project can receive federal funding unless it's included in the STIP. It's important for you to participate in this process because funding secured by this process is intended to address your community's most immediate needs. By providing comments on the projects included, you are helping us identify regional priorities. By reviewing the entire program in a single meeting, you are 1. Providing input on projects that impact the region, 2. Helping us be more effective with your money, and 3. Ensuring that we are investing where we should. Rural transportation organizations, metropolitan planning organizations, and local governments are responsible for selecting projects within their boundaries. TxDOT, through the Beaumont District Office, is responsible for selecting all projects relating to the state transportation system and national highways. This includes interstates and state and U.S. highways. But most importantly, this can also include the farm-to-market roads you use every day. The projects you will review today should respond to local needs. It is our responsibility to give you the opportunity to provide input on projects included in the Rural Tip. Once projects have been defined, they are evaluated according to their scale and classified according to the funding they require as well as their potential impact. Large projects are categorized as regionally significant projects and are included as standalone items. For example, a new bridge over a river. To simplify this budgeting and planning process, smaller projects are lumped together into 11 separate subcategories, referred to as grouped projects. Grouped projects including things like landscaping, safety lights, or new bicycle and pedestrian facilities. This grouping practice facilitates the federal funding of smaller projects, for example, the pavement repair of an FM road. 
This table is a snapshot of the proposed TIP listing, showing the details of the only regionally significant project included in the 2021-2024 Rural TIP for Tyler County. This listing includes details such as a project description, which in this case is a proposed project that would widen US-69 from two to four lanes from Warren South to the Harding County line. You'll also see the project cost information, such as preliminary engineering costs, right-of-way purchase, construction costs, indirect costs, and then the total project cost. The total estimated construction cost for this project is $70 million, and its current LUT date is mid-2021. This table also shows authorized funding by TxDOT funding categories. This map shows the general location of the Tyler County US-69 project. This is another table showing the details of the only regionally significant project included in the 2021-2024 Rural TIP for Jasper County. This listing includes details such as a project description, which in this case is a proposed project that would widen US-96 from two to four lanes from the Sabine County line south to RE-255. You'll also see the project cost information, such as preliminary engineering costs, right-of-way purchase, construction costs, indirect costs, and then the total project cost. The total estimated construction cost for this project is $58 million, and its current LUT date for construction bidding is 2023. This table also shows authorized funding by TxDOT funding categories. This map shows the general location of the Jasper County US-96 project. The remainder of the projects in Tyler, Jasper, and Newton counties have been placed into various subcategories referred to as grouped projects. A list of these projects can be found on the webpage for this meeting. The rural tip functions as a budget list for the district. As such, it is fiscally constrained. Like the budget of a household, the rural tip has to be realistic about the amount of money available to cover all the needs. Frequently, we identify more improvements than we have money to implement. This means prioritizing according to those items that are most necessary. We've discussed the list, but where is the money coming from? Funds can come from three main sources. One, the federal government, through the establishment of the Fixing America's Surface Transportation Act, or FAST Act. The federal government allocates these funds through the process established by the Federal Highway and Transit Administrations. 2. TxDOT, like the federal government, also allocates a section of our budget for these projects through the Unified Transportation Program's 12 funding categories. And 3. The local governments. Once the need has been identified and the amount of federal monies have been defined, the rural tip helps local governments assess the funding requirements to match those of the federal and state government and their capacity to meet them. This slide shows the general progression of the rural tip process and where we are right now. Once your comments have been collected and reviewed, any necessary revisions will be made to the rural tip before it is submitted for approval and integration into the statewide document. The Statewide Transportation Improvement Program, or STIP, is built from the rural tips of all the 25 districts in the state of Texas, as well as the Transportation Improvement Programs from all the MPOs. Once the STIP is approved by the federal government, the included projects become one step closer to getting off the ground. Now that you're familiar with the program, we welcome your input. Comments must be postmarked or otherwise received by May 29, 2020. Make sure that you send your comments before that date. There are three ways to provide your comments. The first is to mail any comments to Texas Department of Transportation, Beaumont District, Attention, Rural Tip. 8350 East Texas Freeway, Beaumont, Texas 77708. The second way you can provide your comments is to email your comments at scott.airs at txdot.gov. The third way you can provide your comments is by submitting them online. Visit www.txdot.gov and search Beaumont Rural Tip. Again, as a reminder, comments must be postmarked or otherwise received by May 29, 2020. Please make sure to send your comments before that date. Please do not hesitate to contact the Beaumont District Office with any questions about the rural tip. You can call 409-898-5732 Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. 
or email bmtprojects at txdot.gov with any questions or comments at any time about any Beaumont District project. And don't forget to click on these links and follow us on Twitter for ongoing road closures and construction updates on the Beaumont District Twitter page. You can also keep up with the text.news on our Facebook page. This concludes the presentation for the Beaumont District's fiscal year 2021 through 2024 rural tip. Thank you for your interest and participation in the transportation planning process.